Hello everyone, good day to all, this is Mike Padua and we're back to our latest update. This is the English version of our weather analysis for today, Wednesday until Saturday, July 2nd to 5th, 2025. This is uh, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we would like to thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainability, with hashtag do more sustainability. If you want to know more about the sustainable projects of BPI, just click on the link up here. And also the uh, local government of Naga City, headed by our newly elected officials, Her Excellency, former Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines, Madam Mayor Lenny Robredo, and uh, Vice Mayor, Gabi Bordado. And now let's begin with our update. It looks like for the past few days there have been there have been uh, afternoon rain showers and thunderstorms across the country, particularly here in Bicol region. Last Monday, a heavy uh, downpour occurred in Kamakini Sur, particularly Iriga, which flooded the area, and uh, Naga City, and. Uh, that uh, thunderstorm or severe thunderstorm generated a very intense rainfall event for about one to two hours and it flooded some parts of the city as well as over Rinconada and uh, Iriga. And here's the uh, rain observation from our various weather stations across the Bicol region. As you can see here, the uh, rainfall here in Ramayda village, Concepcion Grande, reached 113.5, followed by Naga White. In Concepcion Pequena, along Magsaysay, Naga City, 86.4. Our headquarters here in San Felipe, Naga City, 69.3. Along um, Sweet Vin, Naga College Foundation area, Liboton, Naga City, is 62.7. Virac, 62.2. Mabolo, 38.4. And the rest of the station are just below the extreme or intense rainfall that happened uh, uh, Monday, June 30th. So, even a single thunderstorm can create flash floods or flooding quickly in uh, hazard-prone areas. So, please take all necessary precautions because there are more events like this uh, with a single thunderstorm that will reach uh, heavy rain uh, pouring for about one to two hours. So, it's a new norm because of our development here in our country and uh, as well as uh, poor drainage across various parts of the country. So uh, let's hope that it will be resolved and uh, just take all necessary precautions. And uh, here's the rain rate that was generated by the thunderstorm around, uh, let me see here, 2.45 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It reached a whooping 225 millimeters per hour but it only lasted for uh, uh, a few minutes and then after 15 minutes it went down to 90 okay 90 millimeters high rain rate when we say rain rate that's the uh, intensity of the rainfall okay in a span of a few minutes because if you uh, compute the 225 millimeters per hour, let's say for uh, one hour, that's the heaviest rainfall. So in one, one hour, it will reach uh, 225. But since it's only, uh, it only lasted for 15 minutes, that's why the rainfall in San Felipe at our headquarters only reached 63 millimeters. Because the rest is uh, on uh, different uh, values, okay? So uh, just take note of those intense rainfall generated by these uh, localized thunderstorms. And uh, at that time, it was due to a developing low pressure system that passed very close to Catanoanes and Bicol, and its trough or the monsoon trough is. Uh, intensifying more thunderstorms across our country. So this was our graph set yesterday. This is now the LPA, which is quite active, but for the past 12 hours, it became, became uh, weaker down to medium chance. This is, uh, might become, this might become Bising. That's why we put uh, Bising, okay? 
under Pagasa. So uh, we are going to create another grab shot later tonight. And here's uh, 90W, which is now renamed as 4W, the fourth uh, Western Pacific Cyclone under the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. It's a depression moving towards the waters southeast of Japan. So here's the fast animation from uh, cyclonicwx.com. So here's now the LPA that was uh, intensifying last night, but it has uh, uh, become uh, somewhat disorganized because of a wind shear so the center is somewhere here right now moving north and it's likely for the next few days it will linger here and then the European model is tracking it towards Taiwan while others are moving towards the southern islands of Japan okay so we will wait and see on the outcome of that LPA. So this is a tropical depression 4W outside of PAR moving towards the waters southeast of Japan and uh, here's the uh, tracking of the Joint Typhoon Warning Center for the next uh, five days so it might reach uh, severe tropical storm status of uh, 95 kbh within the next uh, five days as it moves over the open waters of the western Pacific. Here's the uh, latest zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. So here's now the uh, center of uh, LPA 98W, which might become missing if it uh, intensifies in the next few days. So the tracking of this is moving uh, that way. So we will wait and see what will happen to that system while the European model is going to place the system or move the system here and then it will turn back over the North Philippine Sea. So the effects right now is the Southwest Monsoon. Yesterday, it's only concentrated over the area of the West Philippine Sea, including uh, Palawan. But today, let me remove this. The Southwest Monsoon is currently affecting the uh, Western sections of Central and Southern Luzon. That includes uh, Mimaropa and the Kalayan Island Group. So the winds will be uh, blowing from the Southwest bringing some thunderstorms across uh, western sections of central and southern Luzon, including Metro Manila. So there are some thunderstorms again for today. Here in Bicol, is, uh, we are experiencing some good weather, sunshine in the morning. In the afternoon, there are some cloudy conditions, but we expect thunderstorms anytime today or tomorrow. It's uh, some, some kind of way isolated to scattered fashion right now. Okay. And then down here over the island of Mindanao, we are looking, let me pause this and move it here, of a tropical wave. This is a tropical wave moving towards Mindanao, so expect again thunderstorms within the next couple of days, but mostly in the afternoon and evening, since these clouds pulsate from time to time. And uh, for the latest... Uh, model run from the two reliable models we begin with the European model or the ECMWF so this is now the uh, latest one as of 8 o'clock this morning which is always published at 4 p.m. so that's how uh, how long the process of this uh, computer models or the model guidance system of ECMWF. So right now, here's the LPA. So we move it tomorrow, Thursday. The LPA is uh, going to move towards the uh, Balintang Channel, southwest monsoon, over the western sections of uh, Luzon, including uh, Mimaropa, parts of Bicol, and uh, western and central Visayas. Here comes the L uh, here comes tropical depression. For W, we are not going to mind that system since it's moving towards the north. We are going to focus here in our country. Friday, the uh, low pressure system will move here. So uh, it's a new uh, forecast right now by the European model. It's currently over the West Philippine Sea. The Southwest Monsoon is still uh, bringing um, afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms. The, the monsoon right now is quite weak because of the 
moderate modern Julian oscillation wet phase it's not strong enough to uh, produce uh, heavy rainfall for the whole day only during the afternoon or evening and Saturday it looks like uh, we are looking at a possibility of another system here and 98W is now over Hainan and we are uh, moving into Sunday and there you go so this is another system it might become 91W since 90W is formerly 4W so it's the former name of 4W so uh, this is another system and Monday it will move to the southeast because interacting of uh, because of uh, some interaction with a higher pressure ridge over Japan and uh, uh, so far that's the five day forecast so the reliability of this forecast is at uh, uh, 50 percent okay and on Tuesday July 8 it looks like it could develop into a tropical uh, cyclone here actually on Monday it might become a depression already based on the European model and uh, Tuesday Wednesday which is highly uncertain it there might be two vortices along this system or two vortex okay and there you go Wednesday Thursday it will move towards the southern islands of Japan and uh, there's still a mild southwest monsoon across the country so this is the forecast after uh, July 7 so it looks like the probability remains uh, uh, low for that matter okay so uh, that LPA may, may not uh, become bising so we'll see we'll wait and see now for the American model, uh, it looks like, uh, let me forward this for the next five days to show to you. Yeah, it also, no, it, um, the LPA moved on this direction and then reorganized here. And then uh, Sunday, July 6, it will accelerate towards the southern islands of Japan. Monday. It will move to the southeast, interacting with a high pressure area over Japan. And then Tuesday, it will again resume moving east-northeast outside of PAR. And we have another one here. So the uh, American model is uh, again aggressive, developing more cyclones over the Western Pacific, while the European model just this one. So uh, 98W could uh, become seeing or not maybe another system 91w so we will wait and see the probability remains at 50 50 chance through monday july 7 so we will keep you updated on that uh, it's not yet clear but again the southwest monsoon it's only a weaker and a mild one so it, we expect afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms so based on the forecast from the european model 24 hour rainfall accumulation there you go you can see here this uh, red one so these are a rainfall of 30 to more than 50 millimeters across the western coastal areas of Luzon from Ilocos uh, provinces down to Occidental Mindoro so Metro Manila will have 30 millimeters or more of rainfall for the next 24 hours and then also tomorrow Thursday by Friday, it will uh, move more to the north along the western sections of the Locos region. Saturday, it's still over the coastal areas or coastal waters. And Sunday, it will start to weaken until Monday, July 7. Okay, so we will stick uh, on uh, that forecast for the next five days since the uh, probability is from medium to higher. The higher is less than three days while the medium chance is three to five days okay so uh, if you're living along the western sections of the country particularly over western Luzon don't for forget to bring your umbrellas while over Bicol region we expect uh, improving weather conditions but there are some thunderstorms still isolated ones in the afternoon and evening 
Now, uh, what else? For the wave forecast, let me refresh this. Okay. Uh, there's nothing to show to you here. Through Monday, the wave heights here will remain uh, light, up to a meter. Very light over the central waters of our country, half, up to half a meter. And over the West Philippine Sea, because of the uh, mild southwest monsoon, we could see some light to moderate waves from 1 to 1.5 meter in wave heights. But uh, suitable for uh, fishing if you're bringing uh, some large uh, boats, okay, uh, fishing vessels. But if you're living over the central waters and uh, the East Philippine Sea, it's safe to have some fishing activities. Okay, and then for the global tropics hazards outlook for the next two to three weeks, valid, uh, yeah. Uh, issued today so week 2 valid uh, July uh, 9 to 15 this is now the uh, system that may form to the east of uh, extreme northern Luzon while week 3 which is still highly uncertain July 16 to July 22 there might be another system forming to the east of uh, Luzon but the probability is uh, low as of this time Based on Pagasa, this is the Pagasa tropical cyclone threat potential. Same, since they are also using the American model of uh, two week forecast. Week one, high chance here, east of Taiwan, which, the, which is the one that I've shown in the previous models. And then week two, low probability until July 15. So July 2 to 8, there might be a system here, while July 9 to 15, it's going to be low probability. So this is the current system, TD, outside of PAR 4W. So there you go. That ends our update for today, Wednesday. We will return uh, on Saturday for another update, the weekend edition of our weather TV. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padawa saying stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherizer. Don't forget to bring your umbrellas, rain gear. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.